welcome to Rick Scale Model Fix and another kit review. This time something slightly different from the normal aviation themed topics and we're going to be looking at the 135th scale Austin K2Y Ambulance from Airfix. Something I've noticed over the last couple of kits from Airfix is they seem to have changed their layout of their box top artwork. So the red band has moved to the bottom of the box with full box top more or less devoted to the wonderful artwork so you could simply just cut along here and cut the box top off and you could then mount that on the wall of the man cave which is what something that I like to do and it's just like a history of your builds and it's some fairly decent artwork as well so doing the box top tour on one side we've got the Austin trademark and numerous multilingual explanations and on the other side we have the four options that are included in the kit and a brief blurb about what the ambulance was all about and its operational history. Your kit number for this one is A1375 so let's lift the lid and see what we get in the box. So lifting the lid reveals the contents so all bagged separately which is a nice touch we've got the clear windscreen parts main screws not too much in this kit we've got three plastic screws and a clear screw a little bit of photo etch decals and the instruction book so we have the A4 glossy papered instruction booklet usual blurb about the type on the front just repeated from the side of the box there and opening the page we are greeted with the parts map and assembly commences with the chassis ladder so please bear in mind I'm an aircraft modeler not a vehicle modeler so if I'm using some of the terminology that's incorrect please forgive me leaf springs building up this chassis and we've got a depiction of the engine there as well moving over rear differential prop shaft and more suspension units cross members and the exhaust coming in to complete the chassis nice little notes from Airfix so assembling numerical order starting with number one so just bear in mind what you're doing there wheels made up from a hub and two halves they're then joined to the completed chassis front wings and mud guards by the looks of it fuel tanks being built up and added to the previously assembled chassis items there then it's on with the internals so we've got some stretches and the floor bulkheads and the front drivers compartment doors and other details there more stretches spare wheel going on the inside of the driver's cab and the internal areas being built up there from the previous assembled sub-assemblies work then commences on furnishing the cab so we've got the driver's seat dashboard etc roofs coming in with the windscreen and the front panel the roof for the ambulance box body at the back a few more storage boxes coming on the underside of that bodywork before it's mated with your chassis mud guards going on folded or straightened footstep bonnet and radiator grill and radiator and finally to complete the construction we've got the depiction of the rolled canvas door covers uh, weight bridge class type plate headlights and other small items there just to complete the assembly looking at the marking guides Airfix include four options so we've got an ambulance there from Northwest Europe 1944 uh, Africa 1940 in a rather attractive camouflage pattern Egypt in overall sandy colour and finally a territorial service in England 1944 
on the back cover. So all in all the build looks to be really straightforward and maybe not as well detailed as first expected but I think this detail is where you need to see it so we'll have a look at that throughout the build. Moving on to the decal sheet it looks to be well printed but isn't cartograph so it'll be interesting to see how the red cross markings go over a darker colour background but nonetheless everything all the insignia and badges look to be well printed thankfully there's no stencil data as you would find in an aircraft and if you look closely on the uh, decal sheet I believe that there's some bonus items there that aren't mentioned in the instruction booklet so if you conduct your own research into that you might be rewarded with alternative schemes the last thing to note in the box is a small etch fret for some of the smaller parts that we'll see during construction of the model. Taking a look at the sprues for so the frames, this is frame A and it looks like we have some major assembly items on here, the roof, bulkheads and doors. Everything looks to be pretty well moulded but we do have a sink mark in the back of that seat. There's these chassis legs and the door in between the ambulance body and the cab. Blind side, there's nothing of note. Eject pin marks are fine and restrained. Introducing spray B and we have the floor and sidewalls and some of the stretchers. There's no fabric detail on any of the stre stretcher canvas which may be a minus thing. It's all, they all look very generic, might have been a bit individual or break that up if they had a sort of material pattern embossed into the surface. There's a front windscreen frame and again the blind side. Nice little bit of detail on there but there is a load of eject pin marks on the inside of that part that are going to need to be taken care of if you want to display your interior. Sprudy has the tyres and wheels and they do look to be reasonably detailed. Those front wings, steering wheel differentials radiator the matrix work on the radiator looks quite nice there's the bottom of that engine and the front grill a little bit of warped uh, plastic there as well so hopefully it doesn't affect any of the parts suspension leaf springs look to be detailed they'll look nice with a wash applied all in all quite simple but very effective the bonnet part 55 is included on a short section of sprue for itself and again this is quite Nice detail for the grills, again, look quite effective with a wash applied. I'm not going to open the clear parts just to protect them until the build commences, but this is sprue E, and there is a number of options in the kit there, so obviously Airfix have been exploring future releases of different variants. So there we have Airfix's brand new 135th scale Austin K2 stroke Y ambulance. It's not completely what I was expecting, it does look to be a little bit basic from my point of view. However, I do have a sort of itch to build some of these military vehicles. Uh, not so much the fighting vehicles, but more, more like the stuff, like the wagons and the vans. So we'll see how this goes. Now I'm going to feature it as a build on the channel. So all in all, it's quite an attractive product at a reasonable price. Now I know there's others coming to the market as well. So no doubt there'll be a comparison towards those. I do believe that the kit has been manufactured by Academy for Airfix and it hasn't got cartograph decals. So it'll be interesting to see if the quality of that product has uh, reduced compared to the standard cartograph offerings. So that's it from me. So until next time, please look after yourselves, stay well and take care.